I now request the distinguished delegate of Libya. Madam President, fellow delegates, ladies and gentlemen, the Libyan delegation represents a fledging democracy seeking to find its way in order to take hold as an added value in the minds of people and to transform it into democratic effectiveness and stable institutions. As the General Assembly gathers this year in the month of November, certainly we have made a lot of achievements over the past decades in economic fields, in the protection of human rights, and in maintaining international peace and security. However, there were also failures in the organization due to the spread of weapons and armed groups, some of which turned into criminal behavior in addition to the exploitation by foreign forces and their personal interests. This led to chaos in our country. It has constituted a real threat to the democratic transformation and encouraged the emergence of terrorist organizations and recruitment of more terrorist fighters. Over the past years, Libya has witnessed the emergence of the so-called Islamic State, which tries to assert full control over Libyan resources. The ideology of this organization is rejected and resisted by Libya with all the power available under the leadership of legitimate authorities represented in the House of Representatives and the government. The Libyan delegation assures the members of the United Nations General Assembly that nothing divides Libyan people and that the vast majority is looking for any possible means to put an end to the unjustified fighting and restore stability. We appreciate the efforts made by the United Nations Support Mission, which was incorporated to form a government of national accord and that represents all Libyans and puts national interest above all considerations. The threat of terrorism of the Islamic State and the Al-Qaeda is not only limited to Libya. Terrorism sees Libya as nothing but a base rich of substantive resources that can be exploited to finance operations in North Africa and even in parts of Europe. The Libyan delegation is in support of all international efforts that seek to reduce the risk to illegal immigrants in the Mediterranean, provided that being with, it is being with the framework of the respect of the international law and non-interference to the international affairs of the state. We assure you Libyans readiness to contribute within the limits to prevent the smuggling of immigrants and restore life to the Mediterranean Ocean. We also emphasize that humanitarian crises need to be addressed in a comprehensive manner with consultation among the countries of origin, countries of transit, and the countries of destination of immigration. With regard to the sisterly Syria, we condemn all the astrocrates against Syrian people and express our support for all international efforts aiming to achieve a peaceful settlement. On that note, Libya would like to conclude by stating that the United Nations members are in need now more than ever for consultation, cooperation, and mutual assistance to address common challenges and to ensure a better future for tomorrow. Thank you.